everyone and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. So we are continuous create our first game with 2D. As you remember we already create camera shake, my pawn, land object and some spawn actor. So uh, we are play and we will check what we get. We have some lens which is coming with some speed. We can jump. Looks like our bull running. So what we will do today? Today I will try to create some uh, object which we have to overjump. In other way we will lose our life. Uh, for this reason we are create new actor. We are create blueprint class and standard actor. It will be object drum. As you remember we are create some drums. So what we will do? It will be very similar with our object land. As you remember, we are creating this kind of object land. For this reason, we can make a copy of that one, going to our object drum, even graph, and counter we paste inside. Very good. So we have it. This we can delete, we no need it. Uh, but we have all lands. So all lands we no need. I'm deleted. Land we no need, land we no need, what else? Land we no need. We are create one more component, it will be sprite, paper sprite component. We are give name for this component, drum, something like that. So apply this drum here, here, and somewhere here. Very good. Okay, what next? What we will do next one? Uh, in just a moment. Yep, I just check something on my writing. Okay, very good. So, uh, first of all, we no need in present moment translucent sort priority. I'm going to drum and I set up uh, rendering translucent third priority if you don't know what is mean just check my previous tutorial you will you will found some information so now i put somewhere 65 something like that i take these drums and uh, i take this third priority and delete it okay very good so now i'm going for my relative transform i make also small something like a 0 0.12 only i already checked this size now we will see if it will be good or not something like that uh, very good. And we are create one more variable. This variable will be all drums, something like that. We are going here. We are create sprite, sprite variable reference. And here we create array like before. So going inside, compile, and we have it. We have some default value. So go and can check how many drums I have totally. One, two, three, four, five. Total I have five drums. Okay. Open back and make it one, two, three, four, five. And put inside our drums. So drum one, somewhere drum two. You can make like this. So for example, drum, if you put drum three, you can make a text. Drum four, and last one drum five so it will be like a random like a randomize compile take it and put somewhere here like a get so i take first of all lens as you remember from this lens going minus five and it will be our random integer in range uh, to receive some information to get not and after that i will get some sprite and here i will put like this so check previous tutorial we are create all these drums i mean uh, all lens and this is very very similar it is done so what we are doing now we are going for our blueprints and for spawn very good uh, now this i put somewhere here so i make a c and it will be like a destroy destroy actors something like this Okay, this will be like a um, C spawn land. Yeah, as you remember, we are create. So now I create a custom event, custom event. 
and this will be spawn draw something like this so uh, we can make a very similar so first i spawn object then give some moving then give some velocity then delay and then spawn again or i can make opposite first i make some delay it's it's really it doesn't matter so i take some delay so from this delay i am going and i take some range i don't know this is every 0.2 i make some range to make a um, uh, random random in range i don't know i like to receive the spawn of drums from maybe 0.5 up to five seconds it's just just like a test just like a test we will see maybe it will be good maybe not then i take this one and just make a copy no only only this one copy paste very good after de delay i spawn actors object will be drum object drum don't forget about this again it will come in somewhere here with same velocity like a land after that i'm going back and make it spawn drum again call function spawn drum so how it work first coming spawn drum after that coming some delay in this range from 0 0.5 up to 5 coming spawn actor add some movement add some velocity this number should be similar to number of a land it means our drums will stay on the land and then again coming spawn of drum so save and play look at this so we have our land but we haven't any our drum nothing no any drum for this reason uh why why it's not coming because this is our spawn drum custom event and nothing call it before uh, there is two way we have begin uh, event on begin on the play here we can put some sequence cs i remember something like that so it's mean coming zero then coming one this will be coming land then spawn drum like this so when coming begin play event of begin play it will call this function so coming spawn land and then coming spawn drum it will be almost in same time almost same time compile and play look at this what is going on so coming land and coming some drum but this drum inside in the land and i cannot see nothing so now we will try to fix it and i hope you already know where is the problem because in last hour tutorial we will talk about that we are going back to the sprite we are select all these drums right click edit and as you can see my pivot point on the middle so we are going to pivot and put it bottom center something like that very good save close bottom center save close bottom center save close same we will do for other one <coughs> okay very nice uh, compile and play again look at this so now my drums little bit on top on the land and we will try to understood why it's coming like this why it's coming like this we will going to the drum and we will check drum so everything okay there is everything good jump to drums and yeah and as you can see my transform location on the five so i put on the zero put zero save and play look at this wait a little bit okay now my drums now my drums inside in the land also i don't like it so i just put the land little bit down going to the land and put it only two we will see play for me the main idea it is bull will be like on the land okay it is touching very good and drums staying on the land very nice so you see we can over jump we can over jump now our drums
and it's it looks like very very nice very nice so our game already already we have some gameplay and it's already and it's possible to play and as you can see our drums behind our bull because we are put our sword priority for 65 and our bull uh, just give me one second our bull as i remember should be just moment where is this spawn we are going to blueprints we are going to my pawn to bull and my bull should be should be should be should be 99 no i put 100 so my bull 100 it's mean everything what i like to receive behind my bull will be less 100 everything what i like to receive on front of my bull will be more than 100 also check my previous tutorials we'll talk a little bit more about that very nice again check what i have and now we will check and and i don't like my drums no i think i, th I think it's good size of drum i think it's good size 0 0.12 not necessary to make it more okay what we will do now now i like to receive some collision so as you can see if i playing now i think this land we can delete already so i'm going to my pawn and take this land and i don't need it anymore compile okay you see start a game mm -hmm. very good yeah as you can see if i touch the drums nothing happen so for this reason we are create some collision we are going to my pawn and inside in my bull inside bull i will put one more box box collision box collision something like that so this box collision should be inside in my bull it will be like a child bull will be like a parent it means when my bull change any location when it's jumping this collision box jumping together with my bull uh, okay what we will do now we will change uh, some parameters for this box we are going to viewport we are going to perspective and changes for maybe front yeah something like that then i am going to fireframe and make it lead okay now i can see my collision box and i can set up it so first of all i put somewhere on the 50 and then a little bit behind maybe something like that so now i change um, this will be one i don't need it very wide will be only one this a little bit reduced maybe nine so very nice from here coming collision and this i also reduce for three something like that okay only in this area i will get collision it's mean if my bull will jump somewhere on this position i haven't any collision so compile going to event graph and we are create new function so select this collision right click event graph collision and begin overlap take like this very good so if this box collision will touch mm -hmm. drum object cast to object drum as you remember it is yes if this collision drum touching something from this object what i'll get i will get some function so first of all i will put some print string like before just to check if it's working or not i will put like damage something like this just just by word and we will check play and look at this so we will check if it's working or not uh, we will wait a little bit okay now i'm jump nothing happened now i'm not jump and i have some damage jump nothing happened dropping down damage dropping down damage okay it's mean our function now working every time when we are touch our drum object drum we have some some options so now we are create one more uh, variable name of this variable will be life we can put like this this variable will be float this point number and this life in beginning will be 100 as you remember in some of my tutorials on begin play on this uh pawn we are put our fly energy for 100 also i take my life 
and in beginning I put life also for 100 something like that very good save and play wait a little bit ah okay now nothing happened because I have to make some action yeah this we no need anymore okay every time when my box collision together with bull touching our drum we will make some action so I take my life and set it from my life get it I make a minus float minus float minus I don't know 25 it's mean total I have a uh, four possibilities to touch my drum something like that so we can check we can put a print string print string and we can receive information from life something like that or no or we can go somewhere here in just a moment yeah I just make a copy and paste it will be I don't know every 0 0.5 seconds something like that uh, life I can make more maybe two seconds no 0 0.5 also and life will be red one so I take my life get and put here so it means every tick I will get information from uh, fly and from life check and play okay as you can see stamina 100 life 100 I start jump and fly and my stamina going out but life still 100 so if I'm now touch a drum I have 75 if I touch again again 50 and as you can see it's coming down so 25 and like this and nothing nothing happened okay minus 25 and continues yes but I don't like to receive any minus 25 so I am going for my collision and after that I will make like this branch so and if if my life will be equal to zero my game going to pause for a moment set game pause it yes something like that save and play look at this what is going on so now we can play we can jump now something coming out okay one two now we will see three one more time remaining okay we are jump and my game now on the pause so I cannot continue I cannot jump I cannot do nothing it's like a game over I lose all my lives what we can make additionally so I like to receive some camera shake every time when I have this collision so I take these two options just Ctrl C on my keyboard and somewhere 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 not here maybe somewhere here I make a paste put like this and like this but scale I will increase maybe to 15 something like that okay so what it will be I will use same uh, my camera shake but only a little bit more scale it's mean every time when my bull touch a drum I will have some shake of the camera not only during jump you see during jump I have some camera shake also when I touch boom boom you see it looks like very nice after we will add some sound we will add some particle effect and it will be nice it, it will be really very nice uh, okay so we are create a very very similar life and and what we will do yeah we will make some optimization just something like that and we will put life life collection something like that so very good we have it hmm? why it's not not why it's not inside tell me please okay maybe now it is will be inside yeah now it is inside very good so very nice for a moment my tutorial finished thank you for watching see you in next time and don't forget to subscribe and put like to this video goodbye my friends